Welcome to everybody viewing our 2020 Christmas program at Emmanuel Lutheran. Um, it is a wonderful time of year, and I'm so glad that we get to come together in a different way, and that we get to share in community the wonderful story of Jesus' birth. Um, I just wanted to give a great shout out to everyone who participated, all the kids who spoke their lines, the parents who figured out the technology to get me the videos, and everyone who did a wonderful part in this program. It is definitely different. Um, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas and hopefully you all enjoy what's coming up next. Um, hopefully next year we'll be able to sit in these pews and be together. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee. He was sent to a virgin. The girl was engaged to a, for, for a man named Joseph. He came from the family line of David. The virgin name was Mary. The angel greeted her and said, The Lord is blessed with you in a special way. He is with you. Mary was very upset because of his words. She was wondering what kind of greeting this could be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord will make him a king like his father David of long ago. The Son of the Most High God will rule forever over his people. They are from the family line of Jacob. That kingdom will never end. How can this happen, Mary asked the angel. I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth will have a child, even though she is old. People thought she could not have children. But she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because God, what God says will always come true. I serve the Lord, Mary answered. That happened to me just as you said it would. Then the angel left her. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went also. When he he went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea. That that is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there because to be he went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to him. She was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, it was the time came for their child to be born. She gave birth to her first baby. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth. Then she placed him in a manger. That's because there was no guest room where they could stay. There were shepherds living in the fields nearby. It was night, and they were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. A baby, I have good news. A baby has been born. Go to Bethlehem and find him. He's wrapped in smiling clothes, waddling clothes, um, in a, laying in a manger. 
Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God. They said, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace to be given to those he has pleased with on earth. The angels left and went into heaven. Then the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see these things that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. When King Herod heard about it, he was very upset. He asked the priests where the Messiah was going to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, this is what the prophet has written. He said, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. A ruler will come out of you. He will rule my people, Israel, like a shepherd. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men. He found out from them exactly when the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem. He said, go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report it to me. Then I can go and worship him too. After the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave them gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But God warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned to their country on a different road. See is for the Christ child, born upon this day. H for herald angels in the night. R means our Redeemer, R means Israel. S is for the star that shone so bright. T is for three wise men, they who traveled far. M is for the manger where he lay. A is for all he stands for. As mean shepherds came, and that's why there's a Christmas day. Merry Christmas from the lands. Is it time? <laughs> Did you think about
wish we could all be together at church right now. At church right now. Happy birthday, baby Jesus. Happy birthday, baby Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 